Indian government has launched a campaign against people who attempt to pattern yoga poses popular in Europe and America for financial gain. The Indians believe that the ancient Indian learnings belong to all mankind and oppose attempts to profit from it. We first became aware of the problem back in 1985, where a patent on using sokuma to heal wounds was issued in the US. Every housewife in India knows this recipe. Once the patent was issued, no one in the US could use the sakuma to treat wounds without paying the patent holder. Indians were outraged that people were attempting to make money on their folk medicine. In 1997, the Indian government initiated legal proceedings in America to have a patent revoked. The government has spent quite a lot of money in the process, but was ultimately successful. The government spent another 10 years and 1 million US dollars litigating against a European patent on the medical use of neem tree leaves. For that, they had to prove the treatment is widely known. The problem is that this knowledge which is in multiple languages which are not commonly understood, like Sanskrit, Arabic, Urdu, Persian, is buried in the textbooks which are scattered around the whole of this country. Ten years ago, a special research center was founded in India. Every day, dozens of experts examine ancient texts in different languages, searching for folk treatments and descriptions of yoga poses. They then take this information and compare it against suspicious patent requests in various countries. The descriptions uncovered in the ancient texts are added to an electronic database and carefully arranged in catalogues. To make it easier for foreign patent offices, the experts have made video demos for almost 200 popular yoga poses. The origins of the pose are provided as well as excerpts from the relevant manuscripts and explanations. We are going to monitor attempts to pattern yoga poses in the same way that we monitor attempts to pattern Ayurvedic treatments. We will make the yoga library accessible to the entire world. Experts from the center said there have been attempts to patent ancient Indian learnings in Russia too. Representatives of the Russian Patent Office have requested clarification from India on this point.